important that we constantly work against our inner desire to find some proof of God's love, some proof of God's favor because of uh, something that happens to us or some way we feel, because that's, that, that's the typical way we do things. And what we often don't realize is that's the typical way that human beings have sought uh, to comfort themselves with divine favor, even when the divine meant Zeus or Apollo or Mars or Athena or whatever other god or goddess was out there, right? That human beings have always sought to gain some, some proof that things between me and God are okay. Uh, by the way they feel, by a general, you know, I'm just at peace. You know, well, we hear Christians say that a lot, and I'm, I'm not saying that's a bad thing to have peace, but what I am saying is that that cannot be the basis of why we actually believe that things between us and God are perfect. Uh, we can't base that on the way we feel about it or, you know, the things we experience from the world around us. Uh, so we have, we have something from the scripture itself that, that points us away from ourselves and only to God. This is from Romans chapter four. Uh, if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God and it was counted to him as righteousness. Now that's just a so short scripture, but boy, that thing says a lot. All right. So for one thing, when it says, for if Abraham was justified by works, the, the, the Greek construction for the New Testament means if Abraham was judged to be just by works. In other words, did God declare him just, you know, because of what he did, right? And of course, no, that's not why God said Abraham is a righteous man. As a matter of fact, it goes on to say, for what does the scripture say? That Abraham believed God, Abraham trusted God, and it was counted to him as righteousness. In every use of the word that in the, in the ancient biblical language that we translate counted, in every use of that word, it is. It has nothing to do with emotions. It has nothing to do with the way we feel. It has everything to do with a very rational, calculated, and that's where the word actually comes from, counted uh, assessment of the facts. And, and the point that I'm making and leaving with us today is that to believe in the righteousness that God gives us, the declaration that you are just in my sight because of my son, Jesus Christ, to believe in that is to starkly believe the words and let the way we feel follow those words as opposed to letting those feelings that we seek be the words that we believe. No, believe the word of the Lord and let your feelings follow that. And if your feelings don't follow that, don't panic. It doesn't mean that God has changed anything. It just means that we are having to deal with what every human being has to deal with. And that is the ongoing presence of doubt and unbelief in our hearts. And God's antidote, his word.